Poppin', man, you already know it's your boy, Mr. J Hill. We in here with King. Yes, What's sir. Good, What's up with it? How you feeling, brother? Feeling good. Yo, we um, you got me listening to some of your music and shit. Uh -huh. And uh, I told you I had to start this from the top, bro. Listen to some of your music. There's a lot of pain in your music, man. Yeah. Where the pain come from? Talk to me. Um, it just um, I want to say events that go on down the timeline uh, to the man that you become. To you, you see what I'm saying? To your ending days, I mean, everybody go have a story and has events that change them as a person. So it's just like that's it. it What's happen. some of the like the real life events that you you've been through that changed you as a person, as a man, as a grown young man? Because I know you don't do the age thing. I mean, it's like it's different. It's different shit. Like I don't even speak on. It's not even like you see what I'm saying. But I feel like realization. Is a lot too. Like mm -hmm. when you come and realize a lot and think about it a lot, you move different and you kind of deserve stuff different. What's some of the things you uh you realize coming up until to your age now? I gotta build my own legacy and have my own story. You talked about uh how how like it's frustrating to even try to build this story because like you know everything you do is in the spotlight and everything yeah. that you do affects the legacy that that was before you. Yeah. Talk to me about that, man. Like how like how frustrating to have to live in those shadows. Um, again, it's like it comes with pros and cons. I mean, it's all a blessing, but again, it's pros and cons to it, so What's some of the pros though? I mean, it's a lot of pros. I mean you got you got um a lot of a lot of opportunity. Um, you built like good face car, it's like you know, having a mama with good credit, <laughs> you switch over like good face card and and like you held at a higher level and you see what I'm saying and people like want to work with you and stuff like that. Like it's a lot of pros. Now we were talking about some of the cons. You were saying like you know like just like you wasn't in a big house like everybody think. Yeah, you know like yeah. you had to grow up in the trenches. Why? Like one of the the questions I wanted to ask was like. Why did you have to grow up in the trenches? Was that a choice? I mean, or like, at the, was you that bad that? I will, at the end of the day, look, my parents was always on the road, and I they they had left me in my grandma house, and I just took liking to that. Like I've been there for my whole life. Like I was raised there, so it's like they'll come back and like on the weekends, I'll I'll go over there probably on. Saturday, Sunday, maybe Friday till Saturday. I mm -hmm. mean till Sunday. And I'll stay over there with my brothers with chill, then it's back to me and my house. And it wasn't no like my grandma was good too, but like it's just like the neighborhood was like all the grandma boys, like like that's when the kids would come over on the weekend and you see what I'm saying? It was like it was one of them neighborhoods, like everybody was outside playing all stuff like that so that's where I like to be so that's just where I kept myself and learned around and you see what I'm saying deserved the difference you see what I'm saying so you um one thing I know that she's like you big in paint paintball you was telling a story about you and Tootie yeah yeah so like wait you, you told me this story right before I get into the story is this how to was this all this stuff like recorded was y'all recording this on Instagram or like YouTube? I mean, or something? it's little snips. It's it's little uh, videos when like we slid, like we us doing little stuff and catching it on video. But it's like when you in action, it's like hard to get that on video unless like you got a cameraman with you. And we really wasn't like you say the wrong thing, we sliding like then and there. It's like cameraman could come forget it. We just the not cameraman get it might this time. get hit, bro. It was crazy. When we slid, my cameraman was at his house, and he didn't. I didn't know it. Like, he called me as we was shooting it up, and he was like, "Bro, don't shoot me, like, yo, yo. <laughs> bro. I'm just, I'm just, it's I, good." But I didn't even answer. I'm like, I didn't answer. I called him back, like, "What's up?" He was like, "Bro, I was telling you, tell you, don't shoot me up." I'm like, "What are you even doing over here? Like, what's up? Like, what are you like?" What? So then, yeah, that was, it was, it was fun. It was fun, but um. 
we got some understanding. <laughs> Wild Beast and Raw Gang, we got some understanding, so we allies now. So we really just where did that come, like was where did that come from? Like you don't hear like people beefing with the uh, the paintball guns every day. Like how the Man. hell did that like we was on Clubhouse and Tootie was got dang. When we say two, we talking about Lil Boosie, yeah, son. Yeah, Boosie, son. We was saying, got the thing. Um, we were just talking, and he just kept muting me. Somebody just kept muting me. I'm like, who the hell muting me? Like, who you? Like, who doing this? So Tootie just quiet. I'm like, bro, Tootie, stop playing with me, bro. So he started laughing. And then he started popping. And he like, boy, don't make us. Don't make me pull up on you with no paintball guns. Do to do. So right there, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what we doing. Come on. That's what we're doing. You done said the wrong jump. We slide 24-7. So, and that's how I got started. Though. Just over us, like, playing and, um, playing and arguing over Clubhouse. But we were just playing and shit. Nah, that's so cool. So we cool. That's dope. Yo, um, you, you, you big into uh, Pokemon, right? Yeah, actually, this is, they sent me this. It's a little dirty right You said now. they sent you this? Yeah, they sent me this. Wait, no, nah, that's a different flex. Like, yeah. Pokemon sent you this. Yeah. But like, how the hell you get in contact in with Pokemon? They sent me this in the skateboard. Um, you said how did I get in contact? Like, how the I never, like, po- Pokemon, like, what the, the Yeah, like, I don't know. I wait, like, out. we not about to ignore that. They just sent me this. I just got there and reached out because they had a game coming out, and it's like, I'm I'm, I'm on that. Like, the games, I'm on that because, like, that's another thing. What I u- really used to be excited about, really the only thing I used to be excited about, going back to the uh the big house. The big the house. house <laughs> um... I used to go over there with my DS and my older brother Messiah. He the one who put me on Pokemon. He used to be hard at like he used to be five I'm like that. So I used to like to go over there and battle him because that's the only time we used to really see each other on the weekend. So shit, I'd be prepping all week like if I go whoop his ass on the weekend on Pokemon. So, right. Uh, they had a game coming out and I get and I basically just hit them up and I was like, bro, I've been rocking with y'all for, for forever. I ain't gonna lie, like, is there a way, even... like, I can get the game early? And they was like, let me see what I can do. And then they was like, nah, we can't do it. But they was like, we can send you some stuff, and then we just end up talking. So, like, you emailed them? I'm trying to understand, how do you even know where them. to... Oh, so I, you DM, okay. Po- I DM'd okay, okay. I DM'd them. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yo, how to, like, tell me about Pokemon now, because I remember when I was coming up, it was, like, Pikachu, Raichu, like, Bobozo yeah, and like, shit like that. I'm not, I ain't know... I'm really the classics too. Like I ain't too much on the new ones. I ain't, I ain't all of that. I ain't with, like I'm just the classic. So how does that work though? Like do y'all trade? The, I know we used to trade the cards. We used to, we used to like I play don't the even game. Do the cards? Like I've been wanting to do the cards recently because me and Ryan been talking about like the value of them cards. Like one Pikachu is worth like three bands. Wait, what? Like just a card? Like the first? Like the first edition? Okay, the first edition. Yeah, like the cars that you got while you was little, yeah. you would have kept them. They used to work like bands. So, that's bro, who like, said I was that old, bro? You ain't saying your age. Man, you, you, you <laughs> look, cause I'm old enough to have got the first editions. You see what I'm saying? So you old enough to have got the first editions. <laughs> okay. You see what I'm saying? So, goddamn, yeah, the first edition cars. That's they, they were selling, but I ain't really collect them. I was more on like I didn't do all the card playing. I was on the DS. So you don't have no, like, first editions at all? I probably do at my grandma's house if I go over there and look, but I ain't, like, walk with them and keep them with me. Okay. Like that. Shit, so you think the, uh, Ryan, you think the uh, the first edition Pokemon cards is, is doing better than N- NFT right now? Whew. Jeez, you should have kept, you might want to go to your grandma's crib and check. Yeah, I probably got to go ramble through. Three and a half million on one box of What? Three and a half million off of first edition? I should have kept my Pikachu, my Raichu, my yeah. my uh, Boba That's what I was thinking when he told me all this. God, oh my, yo, you, we used to do the. So you you was doing on the DS. Yeah. So I since used, we talking age, I used to play the Pokemon card off the uh, Pokemon off the uh, Game Boy. The Game Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Don't play yeah. with me. Game okay. Boy way, probably go way harder than the DS. I ain't like. It's like different feelings, like you know, like with certain stuff, just give you different feelings. Like you walk in your grandma's house, same smell, and you get a different feeling being there. And then it's like, nostalgic. Yeah, it's just like it just give you a different feeling. Like playing the Game Boy bring you back to a certain time in the DS. It's just like all uh, like depending on the childhood. If they let you make your own game, would you would you do it? Yes, I would. Would you go out there like uh like Soldier Boy having the first the first the first rapper with a uh 
a Pokemon I'd, game? I'd be, yeah, like, I'd be better. It'd be better. It'd be better. <laughs> It'd be better. Anything, you yeah. might as well just go ahead and, and get the, uh, and, and make, what if they let you make a Pokemon, like your own Pokemon? You'll be the first rapper with a po- like with your own Pokemon. Yeah, look, I want to go on a, uh, like, like a, like, maybe have a, them sponsor a tour or like, or like, um, do it like, if I was to do a game, I probably want to do like, Probably a Dragon Ball Z type game. Your like, rap name is uh yeah is, what kid, it? kid Sam kid, kid Sam yeah. right is that from the Dragon Ball yeah Z? that's from that's like a race from Dragon Ball Z oh so you into all of this yeah what they call it it's not anime, anime is it it's anime a, anime I don't know nothing about anime bro like I tried to get into it there's some life lessons in there man I mean like what. Talk li- to me about a life lesson in anime bro I mean it's a lot give man. me like, give me if it's a lot give me one. Of course, don't give up. Oh my God! Uh, it's a lot in there. Like I can't just tell you. I can't tell you. Like if it's a lot, give me, top, give me. I can tell you what anime you're watching. I promise you'll watch it and you'll see. Like like what? Like okay, like bro. Naruto. It's like, it, yeah, like Naruto. Um, All the anime people that's watching is gonna kill me for that. Like uh, it's a lot, bro. A comic got killed. Like bro, it's a lot. And I ain't saying like they teaching you stuff like. It's just, it's that's the you got to pull it out. You got to be able to like link that with real life and be able to like like what? Give me, a, give, me a, shit. give me, give me one, bro. You got to give me, a, give me a saying uh, or a story. I can go to anime like, right now. And watch. It's just like society, like like everything, like how society is. Like it might be a fucked up society, just like how the world is. And it's like basically like saying some true ass shit that we relate to right now. So it's like. You just gotta be able to pull that out when it's going on in the anime. Like, I ain't saying, like, goddamn, you're gonna be shooting balls out your <laughs> hand and all that extra. But I'm saying, like, if you see what's going on and pay attention to the storyline, somewhere in your life, I promise you, you can relate. I'm pretty sure I can. I I'm, promise you, you can relate. I, just could, I could never get into the. the, the uh the anime I mean well Pokemon and um I never liked Dragon Ball Z but uh what was the shit Yu-Gi-Oh I ain't like Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to fuck with Yu-Gi-Oh you ain't like Yu-Gi-Oh I mean I seen it but Damn I ain't I ain't. ain't like Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> you wild yeah I don't really like cards like listen okay okay so that, was, that wasn't um, uh, um, a cartoon huh that wasn't an anime it was it was but I ain't watch that like okay. I ain't like I like what fighting was, stuff what was your favorite one favorite anime mm-hmm. I don't know Dragon Ball Z? Uh, I heard Naruto went crazy, but I never watched it. Dra- I like Dragon Ball Z. I ain't gonna lie. Dragon Ball Z is like one of my top, because I like the fading in there. Like, I like the fighting. But a comic got killed. It's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It's just short. It's just crazy. It's, they. What is it? What is it called? A comic got killed. And look, let me tell you what's so crazy about a comic got killed. So, it's basically a group of people. And one one is a big, big um, like big city of people. Okay. And those people represent like their government. Okay. And they think their government is doing good. All right. So they're protecting their government, and their government basically put a hit on this other group that's like trying to kill that government. Cause realistically. They doing bad. So basically, so, there's some Ukraine and uh, Russia shit. <laughs> hey, I got my hands like, yeah, like, I guess, yeah, like, it's just like, it's just like you could pull it out and relate it to real life. It's just depending on what you looking to relate. I got it. Makes sense. You got this uh, record label that you you, you started, right? Yeah, yeah. Shit. What's the name of it? Wild Beast Incorporated. What, 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 where that come from? Like, um... Just like everybody in the label, first of all, the label's like a family. It's bro. called Wild Beast. Wild Beast. You you see this pattern that's going on? It's, uh, What's the pattern? <laughs> There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically like a group of individuals that is hungry and would do whatever to reach their goal. And like, if you get in their way or like, they gonna reach it no matter what. No like, matter what. Hungry like. Even if they hungry to go buy two thousand bikes for the kids, they're gonna do that. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna they're gonna make sure that happens. Like it's like Wild Beast is full of people that 
ain't going for, they stand for what they stand for, and they die for what they stand for. That they heavily stand on it. Mm, so, like yeah, it's just. What, uh, where did that like? How did you create? Where did you get that from? Um, cause I'm wild. I'm wild. That's the pattern I was talking about. I'm wild, and my my animal I would like to say is a lion, and that's a beast. So it's like I put that together, and wild beast, and it's like everybody in wild beast got their own animal that they represent. Mm. Like Ken G One, he the he the jaguar. Uh, P ninety, he the tiger. Eighty eight, he the black panther. Uh, Ashton, he the wolf. Uh, level he the mountain lion so it's like it's a lot and everybody they got their own type of swag to it you see what I'm saying but it's like a family and we are like a one you see what I'm saying like right. it's really like I want my dogs to eat and I want my dogs to like I'd rather you sign a me than you go sign to somebody and that's going that's looking for your money and looking for you to like give you two point five million and then now you owe two point five million. Mm. Like I ain't that type. Talk to me about that, bro. Cause like again, you you younger than I am for real. But um, when we talking about that that the numbers and the money or whatever, um, I'm assuming you had conversations with your father about that, or you learned on your own. How was? How did you know about the deals and things like that? Could you say somebody give you two point five and they and now they owe two point five? Like, how do you how do you know about that? Uh, I want to say my father was a big part. He he showed me the ropes and and um, really just it's like common sense. Nobody's giving you nothing for free. You never know. Nobody's, common sense ain't as common nowadays. Nah. I think more the key. Huh. Nobody giving you nothing for free. It's, yeah, nobody's giving you nothing for free. And that's a genuine. Like, if you got that genuine person, if I come, like me, if I go and get one of my dogs a million, I ain't really, you don't have to come give me no million back. But if you don't come give me something, I'm going to just know what type of person you is. <laughs> like, I'm not that person. Like, I'm not that, like, I'm not that person because guess what? I want you to got them. I want you to eat. More than I want myself to eat, cause it's it's more beneficial for you than it is me. Mm. You see, what I'm saying I understand that. Like, but when it comes to the business, you gotta recoup, though. Yeah, I of get course, it. Like the of course, thing. recoup. Of course, recoup. You gotta recoup. But my loyalty lies in like, you know, like your family. I know these. I know my partners. They gonna be up. Like they gonna be big as they wanna be, bigger than they wanna be. And off of that, they gonna. Bless me. It's love. It's love. It's so, crazy. We we had a thing like, when I um when I was young. We had a thing called F F O E, family over everything. Yeah. So like niggas got the big tats and everything. F O E. So it sounds like you put your family over any or everything. Yeah. I like, fuck with that. Yo, you was talking about um since we since we had did it over. Fuck it. You was talking about the uh show that you done with Tootie. Talk to me about that one more time. Oh yeah, it's basically a show that me and Tootie we just gonna be like messing around, like chilling with some females, vibing, pranking. Got dang competing, raw game versus wild beast. First like thing you said, chilling with some females. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. How did y'all get this? Who came up with this TV show? I did because it's like, do you know how viral we went off of paintballing? Nah, I don't. That's what I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The video got like 2.5 million in a day. Like, what? Off of shooting each other up with the paintball? Not even shooting. We didn't even shoot. All we did was post and send messages to each other. We really was. We wasn't doing nothing. So that. Off, off rip, we can entertain people. It's that's easy. So it's like I just see it being good and beneficial because mm. like it's like we control like me being on a TV show. I didn't control what we made an episode on all right. the time. Like it was. They talk about that in reality TV. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't control like, but this my show. Yeah, if I'm doing something, I can. Tell her, like, yeah, can you help me for me? Mm. And it's my jump. And it's like, it's something that I did on my own. We did on our own. Coming to the fact that our pops could have did it. Right. Our pops could have did this show. We could have just, but we did it. You see what I'm saying? So 
I feel like that's what I really like about it. And I feel like everybody gonna like it because they gonna say it's like Lil Tip and Lil Boosie. <laughs> but everybody, I feel like it's gonna be very entertaining. Cause Did, like, y'all already shot it? Huh? Y'all nah, already? nah, nah. We just in the talking about it. And so where where, where would it be at? Like would it be on YouTube or like a YouTube show or like on Netflix? Like- Man, I want I'm looking for some Netflix type junk. I'm like I mean we probably gonna have to start on YouTube, probably do a little, little YouTube channel, and then when they see how much, and then you see what I'm saying, or a company might say, yep, let's do it. And so it's still an idea. Yeah, I guess. it's still an idea, but we trying to bring it to life more. How, how close are y'all? You think to bringing it to life? <sighs> Man, we we is in five. We is at five percent. Mm, He's okay. at five percent. So when y'all when y'all when y'all do drop it, I'ma just take this clip and we'll repost it. Like yeah, talking about talking about that. Yo, you how did y'all even meet? You and Boosie son. How how long y'all been cool? How long? Dang, how did me and Tootie meet? All right. I do not remember how me and Tootie met. I think How long ago was it? Probably like two, three years ago. Two, three years ago. Yeah, probably like two, three years ago. So it wasn't on no music stuff? Nah, it wasn't on no music stuff. Um I'm trying to see like what our first conversation like really was. Girls, pops. Family probably turning up some shit like that. It was probably making some music at first, then, then it went to kind of chilling, turning up, and just genuine shit. Mm. But um, yeah, I I really can't even recall. I bet I could call him right now. I bet he can't recall. What what uh what made him so? What made him somebody that that you clicked to? Uh, because we share a lot of got we got a lot of uh similarities, and um like we can like we kind of got an understanding of each other, like you see what I'm saying like, cause he is in the same position as me. You see what I'm saying, so we know the pros and the cons and what <laughs> the people don't know. We know stuff like that. Like, right. Yeah. So. Yo, you said something earlier uh that was that intrigued me. You was like um it'd be Lil Tip and, and Lil Boosie. Like basically, like, do you ever you you feel like you you living in your father's shadows a little bit, or people try to force that on you? I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm so much of my own person. That's why I'm so like uh Lit. <laughs> spit image of my pops okay because he's like his own person okay like and can't nobody like and that's why we click so much okay because it's like i'm like like and i don't even like comparing myself to, to him because i'm my own person as i said but like people compare me to the old fourth tip like that type of vibe of that i give off but the wild beast. Yeah, like type, <laughs> type. But it's like, I don't want to say I live in his shadow, but I do live in his shadow because we so similar. It, it, even if I even if I didn't got dang, I still like kind of act just like him. Like in a way, like it's just in me. Mm. So it's like, Mm, that's a hard one. I can see that. I can see y'all bumping heads a lot, though. Yeah, of, yeah, we bump heads a lot. We bump heads <laughs> What's a some lot. of the things y'all bump heads up on a the most? A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, what was the last one? No. <laughs> <laughs> we bumped, nah, we bumped heads. We got the angry rehearsal. Yeah, because of content. We got the What, it was too raw? A little bit, a little bit, but what was it? <laughs> he said, nah, I ain't telling you. Yeah, man, this, this, man, 
We argue a lot. I ain't gonna lie. We argue. We ain't gonna argue a lot, but we kind of click a lot. Like that's cause we so similar. Like we so similar. We kind of both walk with our chest out, and like he be so ready to try to break my chest in. Like so we kind of like. I'm gonna show you who the man in the house yeah, is. Yeah, like yeah, like you <laughs> see what I'm saying. So we kind of bumped heads, but it's like tough love. What's some of the music you got coming out right now, like that we can look for? Um, I'm trying to see. I I got a lot of type of music. Like I ain't need to play my R&B type stuff. Did you put any of that out that you let, let no. them listen to? Sheesh. No, I got so much unreleased music. It's just cluttered up. Well, I mean, I, I think it sounds good. I, I like you. it. For real, though. Like, I don't know, just capping. Thank but, you. And I appreciate you for sitting down having a conversation with me, dog. No problem. No problem. Oh, my God, man. Love and respect, man. Love and respect. King J. Hill, it's a wrap, man. We yeah. out. Yeah.